This game is rated E for everyone. For more information, please go to ESRB.org. Hello everyone, KV here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White version 2. On the last episode, um, we learned a lot more about the Entrylink and how it's been changed since uh, Pokemon Black White 1. We also found a lost item belonging to some girl named Yancey. Or if you're playing as the female trainer, it's going to be... Insert name here, future me, because I didn't look that up before I started recording. And that's kind of cool, and we'll see more of them later. But then we finally got to Route 5 after finally leaving Nimbasa City. And then Bianca was like, hey, let's learn about Hidden Grottoes. And now we are here in one such Hidden Grotto. This Hidden Grotto has a Mancino in it. So, if I talk to it, it's going to fight us, obviously. It's going to make its weird cry. I kind of don't like that cry. Whoop! And Poppy. Uh, do hook, hook attack. Alright, that works. Um, tickle. All right. Uh, yeah, I should. Uh, I, I I think the one thing I I forgot to do is I need to get some new TMs to Poppy and uh, Vivi. But let's catch this Mancino. Why the heck not? Um. Well, let's hope this one great ball I have works. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. I did check out on it for between the last episode and Pokemon that you find here in Hidden Grottoes will always have their hidden ability. I alluded to this last time with the Entrylink and the Pokemon you got off the Dream World. The Dream World always has Pokemon of hidden abilities, so essentially this is a way to get Pokemon of hidden abilities without having to connect to the Dream World. So I guess Game Freak knew pretty early on that the Dream World was going to last for about a year, which kind of sucks. And Machino's just going to be in our party now, because we had an extra slot open. And before I go anywhere... TMs. Alright, so we have uh, Volt Switch, Thunder Wave, Reflect, Light Screen. We also got the HM Fly last time. I am dead curious. Can anyone learn this? I'm gonna laugh if someone can. Nope, okay, that's what I thought. Alright. <laughs> Alright, do we have a Psychic type move? Rest? I guess that's Psychic, I guess. So that sounds Reflect. Light screen as well. Ooh, we don't have a lot of psychic type moves right now. So we're gonna have to figure that out so Poppy can get some good stuff. But for the moment, we can at least give Poppy Reflect so that she can block stuff. Yeah, let's uh What we get rid of? Well let's get rid of a uh, covet. Oh, uh, that is an attack, but again. So Poppy's going to be in a weird spot for now, because her special attacks are really dang good, but her regular attack is not so much. So we'll have to see how that goes. Anywho's, leaving the Hidden Grotto now. And if we leave... Oh, no, it's still there. I thought I was supposed to go away. Alright. Okay, well, I guess not. So, over time, these will reset, and they'll either have a new Pokemon in there, or an item. So I think Grouse are pretty cool to be looking out for, so that you can uh, get lots of good stuff. Hello there! I would like... Five Hanzu Berries for just 200? That sounds like a good deal to me! I don't know what those do. Shh <laughs> shh 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 shh! Alright, well she sells berries every day, so that's good. Hello? Who's calling? Hi, is this Nate? So this is Yancey, the character that we met on the last episode. Or met via tra x transceiver Wow, so you're a boy, Nate? Did, did, did you not know that last, last time? It's a little annoying that we can't see each other, right? So, you know, I'm a girl. <laughs> Oops. My colleague is calling me. I have to get back to work. Talk to you again. Goodbye. The 
they're just cute little conversations like that. I think they're really enjoyable. Um, there's a lot going on over there. But first, we got a Hyper Potion! Hooray! So, what I'm gonna do then is... Tora, my good sir! Or actually, Anel, my good sir. Whatever, one, one of these two. And, uh, we'll... I'm not sure about if I want to give Poppy experience share back yet. We'll see what happens. There's a lot of trainers on a small route, so let's go! Oh. You're not a trainer. Okay. I'm gonna go on this here... RV, and there's... Yes, you're a maid. He's a gourmet, so I'm looking for ingredients that'll make his heart jump for joy. Oh, that wrong spells... Uh, do you have a wonderful green for your bag? Well, you might consider selling it to me. Um, would you like a... Uh... Would you like a Hondu berry? Here, have a Hondu berry. Smells good. We'll take 20. Sure. You, you know what? Wh whatever. Okay. This is where it all started. That stupid Pokemon Curry minigame in Sword and Shield. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to try to be very polite on it, but there's a... I'm not a big fan of Sword and Shield. <laughs> Anywho, it's... Baker Jen is going to start off with a Sunkern. Ah, Tor would have been a better choice then. Whoopsies. Well, let's get Tor out here then. Why not? Go get him, Tora! And I, I'll have to put, like, a big disclaimer, because the, the huge reason why people were so dumb about... Okay, is that a bad thing? I don't think it's a bad thing. People were really dumb about, like, getting mad at Sword and Shield, and the reasons of why they were so mad about it, I think, were stupid. <laughs> I had my own, like, after playing through it and kind of going through it, I'm like, yeah, not for me. So, just in case you're curious, I guess, it'll probably brought up, like, a comment corner or something, I'm sure, at some point, but I don't want to get into it right now, because I... I really enjoy this game, and I like the Pokemon series in general, so I don't want to get too, like, negative about this one particular game I don't particularly care for. And hey, again, I never played Gen 4, and I still don't really feel a need to, so that's me <laughs> on the Pokemon games. And actually, it is kind of me in general, I think, it's just... I'm weird of Pokemon. I've, like, a trend I've noticed, and I have no idea if this is just personal preference or if this has to do with the games themselves, but I don't really care for the even number generation games, I found out. <laughs> I really prefer the odd generation numbered games, so Gen 1, 3, 5, and 7 I prefer over Gen 2, 4, 6, and 8. And I understand a lot of people have a huge attachment to Gen 2, but I just, I don't know, I just never really fell in love with that one when I was playing as a kid. All right, now, uh, Electro Bullet. That doesn't help. You need to. You can't encore an attack unless an attack has happened first. Do you not know the basic rules of theater? Well, don't do that. That's very rude. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. Shh. 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 Oh, 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 oh come on! Really? That's just silly. Design-wise, it probably should have. It probably should have been the static happens after it does the full attack, not just oh, it did it once. And what else? All right, help. Okay, we okay, got another Pokemon on the grass here. What we got? Another Minchino. I. Minchino, you're adorable and everything. I don't particularly care for you, so uh, leave us alone. Thank you. Hello, good sir. Fancy! Art is explosion. Life force is colliding together. Oh, okay. <laughs> Art is explosions! Okay, uh, uh, okay, Horton. A Siljagif. Alright. It's actually not too bad for Anel. Siljagif is... If I'm even pronouncing that right. I, Pokemon pronunciations are weird. 
It's flying psychic, so uh, hopefully, because of the part flying, we can easily take this on. But if not, we can also bring out Vivi, who has some dark type moves on her. Okay, I think we're gonna do that then. <laughs> And just cut it down. We get to see Vivi in her new uh, form. We haven't seen this yet since she evolves. Get do this. Uh, yeah, I'll do a crunch. Okay. I don't like that you want to speed me. That's a little lame. But it's fine. Because you're gone now. Get out of here. And it'll go to level 29. Alright, special defense for Anel, that's good. And special attack, wow, yeah, Anel's gonna be really fun. Uh, you know, Confuse Ray would be good, actually. Um, what does Charge do again? User boots power of electric move next turn, it also erases the special defense stat. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. Yeah, you just got white. Um... Is that, like, a term, an actual, like, art term? Because... <gasps> Trubbish! But, yeah, I, I, that didn't sit with me with what that guy just said. That was, uh... That was questionable. So, let's, let's, uh, let's Thunder Wave you first. We're gonna catch the Trubbish. We only have Timer Balls, but we're gonna catch it anyways. <laughs> Electro Ball. Ah, never mind. We're not going to catch Trubbish. Oh, well. We saw it. That was nice. Okay, what? What is over here? Okay. Uh, super Tall Grass. A Super Repel. Which will be useful to use later. And another trainer to fight. Hello. You can feel in the air, this battle will be electrifying. Well, yeah, because uh, Anel's in the front of the party right now. So funny you should say that! Ranger Lois! Oh, Badoo. I think that's enough to make people not really enjoy my opinion of the Pokemon series this episode, but... I've gotta be honest... I really don't like the baby and the further evolution Pokemon they added in uh, Diamond and Pearl. I just think they look extremely dumb. <laughs> Trubbish, though. Don't you insult my Trubbish. Trubbish is awesome. Alright, right. Not very effective. Well, that's fine. Sunspore, okay. Good job, Anel. Um, Thunder Wave. Just, just really just mess this guy up. Mess this guy, mess this gal up. My apologies. Okay, confuse itself, and then another Gyro Ball. You got this, and now, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. In the breezy. With some cheesy. Rosalia. Well, guess what it's time for? It's time for Tora the Powerhouse, the man himself! Tora. And a flame charge from Tora in this corner is going to wreck that Rosalia. Like, crazily. Yep. Bye, Rosalia. Sorry. Like trying to strike, you shocked me good. Okay. A lot of you guys are saying some questionable things when I beat you. Probably should not be reading them out loud. Uh, Cherry Berry, does that... Uh, oh, paral yep, paral paralysis. We could use that on the gym fight. Okay, well, there was just this trainer over here. The dowsing machine's not going off, so... Well, there's really no point to come over here. 
Except now we're going to find some kind of cool Pokemon here, maybe? Uh, no, Trubbish. Which is cool! I like Trubbish! So, another chance. Let's do it now. Do the Electro Ball. Okay, there we go. Okay, can't be swallow yet. So we do the Thunder Wave. Paralyze or her. It's a female Trubbish. Is there a plushie of Trubbish? If there is, um, let me know. I really like a plushie of Trubbish. Trubbish is probably not in my favorite top ten, but I just I just can't help but love the little guy. You know, I love the little girl in this case. Really cute Pokemon. Alright, let's see if this timer ball actually works. I highly doubt it. Alright. That's what I thought. <laughs> and she keeps turning herself in confusion. That's no good. Well, another another, uh, uh, another turn has passed, so that means the timer ball could technically be more effective now. Technically. Survey says... Ni... San? Whoa! Yeah, we got Trubbish! Yeah! Alright, wanting more garbage, they follow people who litter. They always belch poison gas. See, I like the idea of Trubbish because Trubbish, you may think of me like, Ugh, it's such an ugly Pokemon. But in, like, the entire world-building aspect of it, Trubbish is awesome because Trubbish is just like, Hey! I will eat the trash, so that you don't have trash. Like, that's so cool. I am going to give a nickname to her. Um, what should I call you? Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, hmm. If it was a boy, I'd call it Forky. <laughs> um, but, let me think. I want to follow the same naming uh, criteria that we've had for the rest of our team, for the most part. Oh, I have a good one, but I don't know if that one works as well. Give me a quick second here, okay? Sorry. I know this is really dumb, but I, I, I gotta check this. Future me, you should speed up the video at this point. <laughs> party! Well, whatever. That's probably better than this is in the box. That's when you'll get them. I don't know what's happening down here. Let's, before we go over there, let us go to our bag. And I have so many potions, we might as well just use them. Use them here. Use them here. And here. And here. And do you have pickup? And here. And here. And I'm also going to check the item that the Mangino that we caught has. Item take... A Chesto Berry. Okay, and summary... Do you have pickup? Skill Link increases the frequency of multi-strike moves. Okay, so no, you just came with that berry. Okay. Anywho's, what's happened down here? You... you oh. Okay, well, I guess unless I talk to him, he wasn't going to fight, but now he does. I like that they put a lot of trainers here, so it kind of gives you some good experience between the this gym and the next one, because we're going to go to the next gym pretty dang fast. I don't know why they really want to encourage you using fire types here. Very bizarre, especially considering the previous gym and the next gym, but whatever. Go for it, Tora. 
if you haven't caught on to some of my naming conventions yet, so it's because it's from another game or slash anime series, depending on which one it is. I am kind of curious, maybe I'll have more than just the usual six. I usually, when I'm doing these, I only really care to get the six, but maybe I'll have some more that I can switch in and out as I feel like it. Because I think Trebus deserves a lot more love, and so I hope we can put Shiva in our party. Just for the heck of it, you know? But I don't, I don't feel comfortable putting her in yet until we can have the rest of our team high enough so that, uh... Okay, gives electric guitar prop. Thanks for that. A hot summer I want a uh, cool alpha water type Pokemon. A cold winter I want a warm fire type Pokemon. Okay. Hi there, buddy. That's jazzy. Turn around, it's my turn, and it's my turn to go ahead. Turn around, and it's your turn, you gotta make an attack to keep going on the battle. Turn around, and now we're into a transition, and I'm on my back. Turn around. <laughs> that song, you know, that, 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 that classic song from before I was born, technically, I think, because it came out like the 80s, I want to say. Total Eclipse of the Heart. I really only know that song through the parody version of it, which is the literal version of it. I prefer that version, because music videos in the 80s are weird, man. Actually, okay, so question. I'm 30. If you are potentially younger than me, do you know what music videos are? Are they still a thing? Do, do, do we care about them anymore, really? Thank you for that, NL? Because music videos, I felt like they had a prime, like in the 80s, then they died off for a little bit. Then they had a prime again near the end of the 90s and the early 2000s, and they died off again. So I don't know, are they still having prominence or not? I am very out of touch with the with the kids these days, you know? I say, being only 30 years old. <laughs> Alright, I think we can do one more battle. And first, we'll use the potions. Because that's why we have them. Alright, you! The drawbridge goes up when a ship needs to pass. Then the Pokemon there are resting and bridge fly away all at once. Okay. What's going on here? Because the battle, one person has to win, one person has to lose. I wish my boyfriend could just enjoy the battle and not worry about losing. Sometimes it gets too serious. Right. Hello! Oh, a dull battle! Even better! After watching a football game, we want to get rowdy ourselves! Uh, yeah, no, don't do that. Like, don't do that. That's not very good to do. I get your cheerleaders, and that's just fine. But, uh, don't, um, don't get rowdy after games, especially if you're gonna, like, Trash a town that's hosting it or something like that. Not that I've seen that before or anything. Ahem, ahem. Just, just don't do that. Okay, anywho. Poppy! Uh, right. Reflect! Shush, shush, shush! Swift. Eh, yeah, Swift does, it does things. Uh, okay. You know, you can just... You do you. You do you. In the meanwhile, I'm going to switch out Poppy. <gasps> Alright, well, let's do a Thundershock and a Machino. That is the bag. That is not where Pokemon are. Tanrel has not been out for a while, so let's get Tanrel out. Just get a little more experience, I'd say. Okay, well, yeah, that... You gotta wait for an attack to happen if you want the Encore to work. Alright, you know, Thundershock to that Manchino, and then Tanrel, do a Water Pulse to that Manchino. Oh no, Swift, ah, uh, stars. Okay. Swift is a very good move, it's just, it's very situational. At least that's my opinion. 
Maybe I'm wrong on that. I don't play Battle Meta or anything. I just play because I enjoy having fun. <gasps> shush, shush, shush! Uh, yeah. Actually, I'll do Waterfall. Why not? Then you use Swift, because Swift always goes first. And then Nell's going to use Thundershock. And you're out of here! To be as silently, even I feel refreshed. I cheered as best as I could. Okay. Good for you. At least you're not causing a ruckus, which would be a problem. Anywho's, we'll figure out what's going on here next time. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon White Version 2. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button below. If you want to see more cuts from me, please consider subscribing. Pokemon White Version 1. 1, 2, and Black version 1 and 2 are available on the Nintendo DS family of systems. It was released pretty late in the original DS's lifespan, so it might be a bit hard to come by, but I highly recommend it, as I do really consider it to be the pinnacle of the Pokemon franchise at this point in time. Otherwise, and most importantly, please have a wonderfully great day, and I will see you all on the next one. Until then, ciao!